Greetings everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap back at the contact zone. And water is <laughs> completely submerged the whole bedrock that goes across the river here. Even that rock that's out in the middle of the river. Warm weather is getting this snow melting and a little bit of rain yesterday. Not much. Of course, I don't know what it did upriver from here, but... And of course, I've got Hung with me. So, <laughs> she's looking. <laughs> I tuckered her out the other day when we went hiking into another spot. Her legs have been pretty sore for quite a few days. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm working over in here. Some of you who watch the channel for a while know that when I cleaned out in between here, I got a lot of gold, quite a bit of gold out of this. Broke pieces off this and in between and dug it right down. That was a good, that was a good spot. So today, not knowing how high the water was, I brought my bucket classifier with me, thinking I'd have to carry material over to the gold trap. But not gonna have to. First time ever I've set up there. Usually I set up right there. But that's not happening today. <laughs> so the only thing that sucks about this is I won't be able to remove my capture tray. That piece of bedrock's in the way and it's it's in there. It's not moving. So I'll have to pick it up or whatever, but that's okay. It's not like anything is gonna shift. So I'm gonna work in this area. I kinda like to get into kinda like to get into here. Gotta get that out of the way. But there's a lot of shaley material in here. There's going to be gold trapped in between that stuff. So we shall see. It's going to be about 70 degrees today. Back to you in a bit. I was knocked down, had to count down through the phase, in the face of defeat, yeah. I was rolled down, with the bail down on my phone, all alone, left to think, yeah. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was so bad.
that I got the area prepped for digging. Got that boulder out of there. Started to expose this shale material. I'll start running some some stuff through the gold trap. I haven't put anything in it yet. But I'm about to, and Hung's panning has put a bunch of leaves on my classifier. What the heck?
I stop for lunch. And of course, if you, uh, for the Green Mountain Gold Trap, I say if you're going to stop for 15 minutes or more, then pull the capture tray. So, I did. And there's 27 pieces there. Not too bad. And then of course, I did get my way into the shale, which was out to here. And I broke that up and I just panned it. And there was 10, 11 pieces in that, so that's uh, 37 or 38 pieces so far and I'd say total run time was about two hours so not too bad 37 38 pieces in two hours time all right so I'm gonna do the same thing as I did in my intro because this water level has come up quite a bit since we got here. So this will give us all an idea just how much, because we can go back and look at that and see this. to be really careful in the spring I'll tell you all right so when I first started the face of that big rock right there that the back of my gold trap sitting on it went right back across and we could only see a little bit of that shaley material which was like I said earlier out to here so I've moved all this area right here and when I just, I tried blocking off water flow to the gold trap and water was just still rushing right around the bucket. <laughs> so I had to get tricky with it. And I, I managed to get the capture tray out of there and get it in the five gallon bucket. And then I had to pick it up because there was still gold in this uh, dream mat and some in here. And I managed to save that. I brought the bucket over here and finished cleaning out the capture tray inside the bucket put that up there and then I rinsed out the bucket into my pan or no I, I dunked the uh, gold trap in the five gallon bucket and rinsed that really good and then I dumped everything in the pan but as I was splashing water on the gold trap there was a rock right here that decided to come down and crash right into the corner of my pan and dump half the material right down in here. So I've just scooped all this up. Hopefully I got it all. I hope so. If not, I will be digging here. <laughs> Hopefully the water doesn't rise so much that it crashes up over this, and it probably will, because it's gonna rain tomorrow, 100%. So we shall see. Hopefully it doesn't go very far. All right, so I'm going to pan this back and see what's in it. Okay, I definitely lost some of the gold down in there when that happened because there should be more in here than that, but we got 14 pieces in this one. Jeez, everything's coming out of the embankment here. A lot of tiny ones, but they're one good size one in there. So. I'm going to try to retrieve my gold and I'm also going to break up some more of that shale hung just left. Water's getting too high for her to be happy here so <laughs> I'm not going to run my gold trap anymore. I'm just going to pan try to get try to get back my gold and like I said break up some more of that shale. So I'll show you what I get at the end of the day. Back in a bit. Dang. 
That rock right there when we got here was about sticking out of the water about three inches. Now it's about an inch below the water level. So this water's rose at least four inches since we got or since I, we got here, yeah, but hung left. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Definitely wouldn't want to get caught in that current. Boy. You can't even see that big boulder out in the middle of the river anymore. And since I last shot, which wasn't any more than 30 minutes ago, it's come up about another inch. You can't even hardly see that boulder in the water or that bigger rock in the water now. Man. Jeez. All right. So, not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. I stopped counting, but there's gotta be at least 75 pieces or better in there. So that's that's my take for the day. Man, I can just imagine what this is gonna look like by tomorrow afternoon about this time. <laughs> Incredible. That's gonna do it for the day. I'm gonna pick up all my stuff and hike out of here. So I thank you all for watching as usual. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care everybody.